Alright, welcome back to Saving Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi y'all. On Thursday. So uh yeah, it's Thursday. But we're gonna do we and Wednesday on Thursday again. We and Wednesday on Thursday. And uh, we're gonna throw a little twist in because it's gonna be a two sided thingy. Uh shave tonight on uh Williams Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. So Williams Wednesday didn't happen because uh I made a round trip yesterday, drove up to uh Mississippi where my where my mom is buried and spent a few minutes at the graveyard and checked out her grave, made sure everything's good, my grandparents' grave. I've got an uncle there. And uh so yeah, that was my adventure. It ends up being a ten hour round trip. Now it used to be closer to an eight hour round trip, but I don't travel as good as I used to. I gotta stop a little more often. And uh, Agent 007 rode with me and anyway, so made that trip yesterday and uh got back in last night and and uh cooked and went to bed and didn't do a whole lot of shaving. So anyway we hadn't shaved in a couple of days, so we got the you know, that's what it looks like. So anyway, I'm at the store the other day and uh must have been Tuesday doing doing that thing that we do. And a um, young gentleman comes along, and I'm lost prevention, but I can't help but uh, practice good customer service skills. So uh, he was obviously looking for something, so I asked him, and he was looking for razors. And, of course, that led to the uh, plastic cart garbage discussion and the stuff. Anyway, anyway it goes, uh, he sent me an email. We're going to get together, and I'm going to lend him some razors to uh, try out and see if he would like. He said his dad uses uh, uses uh, unmentionables, as we call them at uh, Toast. He uses double two-sided thingies. So I told him I'd send him a two-sided thingy and a, a one-sided thingy and see what he thought about it. So yeah, always trying to get the young folks hooked here. I might dig around and see if I got a new brush and soap. I think I got some new brushes. I need to get some brushes to uh, give away. But anyway, we're going to use the modern Williams and the uh, Smog 1305. Great combination. And for a razor today, we're going to use the Repair right here. And it's got a Repair blade in it, and it's the blade that was in it last time I used it. Because, you know, just how I do things a lot of times, you'll be razors sitting around with blades. But uh, anyway, so it should still be a good blade because I don't think I use it that many times. But uh, we're going to knock out a couple of days worth of growth with the two-sided thingies for a Williams, Wednesday on Thursday. These can still, still haven't got around to getting a new trimmer. The guard for the old trimmer finally cracked. And uh, I was looking online and I can actually still buy the modern version of this trimmer. And that's what I'm going to do. I saw the other day where I could get it. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to get the modern version of it. Okay, so let's look at the razor real quick. This is a three-part razor. Now, I know y'all know this, but y'all bear with me a few minutes. And the handle screws off. And when the handle comes off, you have a bait base and a cap. Now I've left the blade on the cap here, but you take it and you hold it flat and you put the blade in and then you put the base on top of the blade and then you screw the handle down snug. And that's all there is to putting the blade in. Be sure to keep your wingers on the side of the blades because the flat side's cut. Don't cut your fingers. That's a, uh, you know, good little piece of advice from Cousin Fuzzy. Don't cut your fingers. You don't want to do that. Yeah, so I think actually what I'm going to send the young gentleman, I've got a decent looking ball in tech. It's got a, the cap is nothing but brass, but the rest of it looks really shiny. So I think I'm going to send him a ball in tech and then probably a featherweight or a G bar. I've got an extras of both of those. So I'll send him one of those. And I think I'd do real good and some blades for both. I think I'd do real good and giving him an idea. I put him on to my videos and of course for my videos he can go find Dave in Kentucky and uh, Jayara and some others. But uh, you can also find Toast 3 from my videos. And even the shave den for two-sided thingies. Because we don't discuss two-sided thingies at Toast. Just don't do it. I'm actually pretty fanatical about it. We had a, a gentleman 
one of our favorite people over there. He's a great member. Posts a lot of really, really, really good stuff. But he had one of the Merker beard and mustache trimmers. I don't know if you've seen those, but they got a, it's a two-sided thing. One side is about that wide and the other one is not as wide, it looks like. And they're just made for trimming around the goatee and, you know, edging that kind of stuff. And Well, we decided that was a definitely a two-sided thing, even though it's not really used for shaving, per se, used for trim work, but still, two-sided thing, and we said we couldn't have it. So we're kind of fanatical over there about our uh, definitions. All right, so there we go to Repower. I don't know if I pronounced that right or not, but anyway... Oh yeah, the blade's plenty good in this one. Of course, fresh and angle are the important things. That's what you learn. Now I think personally that learning the angle, using a boy, look at that right there, first pass and all that old stuff's gone. Hey, like that. Uh, I think personally it's easier to find the angle with a single edge razor. Cause most of them, the slope of the head, you know, cause they look like a face hoe. We call them a face hoe cause they look like a garden hoe. But anyway, the slope of the head is generally speaking your shaving angle and you just have to learn how to hold that angle that's that's what your technique building is is that you're learning to consistently hold your angle and pressure now i also discussed he already knew that uh, part of the issue is knowing which way your beer growth is so you don't end up inadvertently going against the grain. You knew that from using the cart garbage. And not all cart garbage users seem to understand that, that it is important to know which way your grain is going so that you can appropriately attack it. But anyway. This is not really gonna turn into a how to shave video, but a few little pointers to start the way. Never hurt anybody. Now again, this is good old modern Williams that of course won't lather. And I'd already given the buttercream speech with the young man. I'm not using his name because I had to ask him about using his name, so we're not gonna do that. But uh, we're gonna paint on a little bit of the old Williams here and get our second pass going. That's a very, very, very nice feeling. Shave from a two-sided thingy. Blade still good and sharp. Everything held nice and tight. And if the blade is sharp and it's held tight where you can consistently hold pressure and angle, Blades a blade, the razor's a razor, you'll get a shave. All right. So trim work around the old goatee there. All right. And back across this way. We're going in for a shift tonight after a shift at the store. The next couple of days are going to be working doubles. We do that when we took on both jobs, right? We would have days like that. So here we go. I, I got called out. Monday had to go in and work an overtime shift at, uh, at the office. But that was a uh, 3 to 11. And doing a 3 to 11... Not really much time to do any work at the store, so unfortunately the store got got uh, put down on that one. But anyway, we're going to be sure we get the rest of the weekend for them. Mm. Good old Cafe Bustello there. Oh, we're going to be sure we get the rest of the weekend at the store so it gets, gets it time in. And we get all the time in at the office. And by the office, of course, I mean the office complex. All righty, get a little witch hazel going here. Like somebody's been hitting my witch hazel. Somebody must be using it for skin irritation. It'd be good for that. All right, I feel that we got the normal, normal little rust spots. That's a good thing about the old uh, witch hazel. You can feel them rust spots. 
didn't feel anything out of the ordinary at all. We'll come clean up under here and down in front of this here ear. Around the goatee, make sure everything. It'd drive me nuts if I get to work or somewhere and my goatee ain't all nice and trimmed around. All right, there we go. So that's gonna do it for tonight. So that's what we end up with. Get a little rinse off thing going here. And I, of course, like I said a million times, I'm a warm water shaver. So I got my bowl of warm water here and man, you can see that I had a couple of days worth of growth. You can see them old salt and pepper uh, whiskers there. All righty. I keep the scrubbing bubble spray around. I can spray the sink out after I use it and keep it clean. It does, does get messy. All right, so there we go for today. We're going to finish up with some master bay rum. If anybody's keeping up with that kind of stuff, we got it in the little light bulb bottle here still. My brother gave me that. He bought the bottle and then he broke the, he dropped the bottle. It was plastic. He dropped the bottle and broke the top off of it. So he just transferred it over to another bottle. And uh, from that bottle, I just put it in this little light bulb bottle to keep it on the counter in. Thought that was kind of neat actually when I saw those. Well, there we go. That's for us today. I got to go ahead and finish on getting dressed so I can get to work. And uh, go do that thing that we do. You do that thing that you do. But uh, two-sided thingies. You know, I prefer single edge and injectors. Can you get a shave from a two-sided thingy? Absolutely. The little thing called technique. Pressure and angle. Get it sorted out. Do it consistently. Get nice shaves like that. All right, there we go. Y'all have a great evening. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.